Welcome to Kratz Kitchen, episode number five. Today we are going to not try a recipe or uh, try something new. Not try something new. We are going to make a kind of a standard in our yeah. house, which is inside and out grilled cheese. Inside and out grilled cheese. So, um, what's the difference between an inside out grilled cheese and a regular? Inside and out grilled cheese has some thin layers of cheese on the outside with a little butter under it, so it's kind of crispy. Oh, yeah. And when and if you like scrape your finger across it, it won't like fold up. It'll just um like stay there. So it's kind of like scraping your fingernail on some wood. Correct. And then in the middle we still have what? Cheese. So tell them what we need. We have some cheese, like always. Some homemade bread. Who made the bread? My mom. She's gotten real good at making bread. Um, just like a peeler to make the thin slices of cheese. A non-stick pan, cast ironers. Or another non-stick, yeah. yeah. With a little bit of canola oil on it. Don't want to put too much because you're going to spread it around with a napkin. Correct. Or paper towel. Yes. And then butter. And butter. So we have two pieces of bread here. Yeah. These are asymmetrical. Use any bread, it doesn't matter. You can even use shredded cheese when we're gonna yeah. use this. Um, but if they're asymmetrical like this, what, what do you want to make sure? What size are you gonna butter? Like, if you butter them like these two sides that are symmetrical, then it's gonna look like it's gonna not look good. Because these aren't lined up. Yeah. So we want to we want to butter what these two sides? No. Yeah, because then they will go together. Look, no, I flipped them around, Dad. Well, this is same backwards. No, they aren't. Okay. So you want to butter these two sides? Yes. So let's go. Boom, butter. And also, don't use like hard butter right out of the fridge. We have a certain machine that not really machine, but it's a, it's a butter pot. Yeah. That lets it just soften. So I highly recommend it keeps your butter at room temperature. So you can butter your bread. Just like butter it, not too much butter. Ooh, I should turn this up, shouldn't I? Just like this much butter, not too much. Once you do that, and make sure like the- Not too much, because we're gonna we'll put a little oil on there too, right? Yeah. And um, make sure the cast iron is on, or not stick. A little, a little more butter. No, let's do the cheese first, remember? Because we want to have the, you got to have your like, knees in a pot, so everything ready yeah. to go. Because once everything starts going. So you just need, we have a certain shredder. Carrot peeler. Yeah. Vegetable peeler. Yeah. This is what we use to do the thin pieces, right? Yeah. Exactly. Because on the outside like ones, you don't want them too thick because you want to melt real easy. So we're going to, you're going to peel enough, just, you don't have to start that thick if you don't want to. Oh. You know what I'm saying, buddy? I'm just starting. So you just kind of like, is that going to be enough to outside, maybe like one more piece there? Per, oh, perfect. It's just hard to like end it. Sometimes. Perfect. So there's one, there's one slice, dude. Yeah. And so make that's like three times. pieces for us. You don't have to start it's that It's not perfect. Thick. It's fine. It's all going to melt and be delicious. It's fine. Yeah. It's hard to make it like exact. And you can do, like you can do it with shredded cheese too. Yeah, it's just a little bit more difficult because it's just all like perfect. Another piece, you can do three, three medium sized pieces or like a couple more like small pieces. Maybe like one, two, two, one more? Yeah, one piece. more. Perfect. Yeah. Ooh, that's perfect. All right, so there's our two two uh, thin well, pieces. Also to like, you sometimes, once like they're together, also, where's the... Do you want to cut the thick pieces or you want me to? Do you want, do you want to cut the cheese yeah, or should sure. I cut the cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Eli's going to cut the cheese right now. <laughs> they said I couldn't make a cut the cheese joke. But I did, dude. Okay, that's, that's, that's thick. Why don't we do this? It'll be a little safer. Why don't just do it? Okay. It'll be a little safer if we do it on the side then. You know what I'm saying? And then you don't have to. 
You just have to do like three pieces of this because it's a lot yeah. easier. So and again, you don't have to use this bread. You don't have to use. This is just homemade bread that our mom just made. Is mom, has mom, does mom even come on camera sometime? No. Well, she made it clear that she has no interest in being a crass. She's not a crass, actually. What's her name? Um, Lund. Lund. But we, we love her. She's part of the fam. And then, once oh. you... Go ahead, tell me. Once you have all this ready mise en place, you can just take the bread. Make sure you butter them on the right side. I'm going to put a little oil on here first. Yeah. Make sure you butter them on the right side so it... So it lines up with like store-bought bread with a loaf, it's easier, but this is a, just a little harder. So now you're just going to get them heated up, right? Yeah. So Not too long, like 20 seconds. Yeah, just to heat them up to get them so that when we put the thin cheese on them, which is going to be the outside. So he's putting out what's going to be the outside down. You hear sizzle, and then let's knock that down the floor. Yeah. And he's going to take them off, um, and then put those... Yeah, I would say, wait, 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 wait. Go. You want me to do the first one? You do the second one? Perfect. So now it's a little heated up, right, Eli? So, yeah, like, it's just, here. it's just like golden brown butter. Exactly. So now the cheese is going to stick to it a little bit. Yeah, because it's going to melt onto it. Correct. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So, all right, put one down. Put this one down first. And you want to... Oh, you know what? We cut twice as much cheese as we needed. We'll oh, have yeah. a cheese snack later. Yeah. You, want, you don't need nice six one. pieces. No, we cut right. like double. It's all right. Yeah. We love cheese in this family. That's not going to be a problem. Put it down. Like this? No, cheese side down. Remember, that's the outside. Oh, yeah. All right, put the cheese on. This is the thicker middle cheese. Yeah. And don't make six slices like we did. Or if you do, just eat the extra cheese. Yeah. And then put that one on top. And so we want, the, what, how much do we want to cook that outside cheese? Is it um, okay if it so browns? It's like, yeah, you actually, depending on how you like crispy or soft, I like in the middle. So I like it just like golden brown. And when you scrape your, we'll demonstrate this once. On the outside you want, and you can kind of tell. Like, crap, sorry. Did you just say crap, dude? Yes. Is that a cuss word? No. Okay. Well, you ask. But you can actually see, like, right there, yeah. Eli. Like some spots. Let me just push that down and get it to stick. Yeah. You can see it, how it's getting brown right there. Yeah. Yes. Let's do a little extra crispy. Let's give it another second. You alright? I didn't know what it was. So we're done with this, right? Yeah. Are we, well, we're going to cut that with that. Cheese. Ginger just hangs out with us, helping through some scraps. I never, I never feed her, but sometimes the boys do. With your permission. Well, I do too. Uh, alright, flip it. You want me to flip it or you got it? I got it. You want to use the other thing? No. Slide over. You're good. Oh, perfect. Yeah, like this. It's just Give like, it a little push down. And we'll show you at the end, but that is like, that's nice and dark and golden brown. That's like crispy push. Oh, yeah, you gotta just smash that. Okay. We are almost getting done. What do we have to say beforehand? There was something we were gonna mention. Oh, what do we want to tell people to do um, in the comments? Comment down below what you want us to do next. And while you're down there, hit subscribe button if you're new and smash the like button. Yeah, and if smash the like button. What? If you want us to try a recipe, like throw us a link. If it's not too crazy, we might. Because uh, we've only tried one, or we've done two new recipes so far. We've done Malva pudding. Malva pudding and popcorn salad. Which were both? Malva pudding was really good. But Better. popcorn salad was like one you day thing. You guys ate it all. I mean, you were no. still eating it the next day. Yeah, but it's not like wet popcorn. Like, popcorn, it's good the first day. It's Correct. great. But then it just saw me popcorn overnight. Yep. So, you ready? Uh, take a peek. I'm gonna Really, now what I'm looking for is more of like, oh, yeah, that's did we get the run. cheese melt? Oh, yeah, that is a home run. All right, pull it in. Let's sit for a second. We'll bring Gus in here for a second because he wants to get a picture. Oh, but show me out here. Show him this. 
Yeah. Like scrape that spatula against there. You might be able like to hear that? it. It just like, cause like you're scraping it, but it's not coming off cause it's nice and melted to it. Yeah, but you want that. It's like it smells out. like crispy, yeah. like caramelized. That's what you want. Yeah. Um. And if there's a little cheese leaking now on the side like this. I'm gonna pass. Maybe, let's just cut this in half on the diagonal. Okay. And then you and Gus can just split it. Okay. Gus, you wanna come in? Yes. Do you wanna get a picture? Yes, we do. Do you like an angle? You go low, go low. Whoa. You can center it. Up. Put, put it up. There you go. We're gonna get off. Perfection. Alright, uh, you guys will try it. Because this the key is it's nice and salty and crispy on the outside. It's also maybe a little hot. Yeah. Oh, it's hot, but. It's like a pizza slice. It's too hot for me right now. How is Super it? Good. Can I just have a bite? Mm -hmm. Really nice and crispy on mm. the outside. Like salty and crispy. Mm hmm. Yep. It's still good. Alright, you want to go? Alright, thank you for watching. More Don't forget soon. to subscribe and smash the like button and comment down below on new ideas. Go.